Hi everyone, this is Carol Lott at the Exeter Wellness Center and we're here for some cat and kitten yoga and we're just going to work on some balancing poses today. So it's going to be a quick 10 minutes. It's a great way to strengthen the legs and the glutes and the abs as well. All right, let's start with Tadasana. Just finding our mountain pose. Toes together, heels touching, root down through your feet. Grow a little taller, lift the shoulders, roll them back. Palms open, fingertips reach towards the floor. Crown of the head reaches for the sky. Take a nice deep breath in. And on the exhale, release the pose. Bringing the right leg up, you can turn the toes under, resting the foot below the knee or above the knee. Tadasana. And now, Vrikasana, tree pose. Take the bump out of your hip, stand up nice and tall. You can express those arms however you like, like branches of your tree. Keep breathing. As long as your foot stays rooted, your tree can move in the breeze and it can recover and be grounded again. Take a breath and gracefully release your tree pose. Switch the weight over into the other foot, really sink down through it. Use your toes like roots. This is a great place to stay, just standing up nice. Here. We're picking that foot up below the knee <clears throat> or tucking it in above the knee. Keep breathing. One more breath and gracefully release your pose. Very nice. Gonna take the hands to the hips, touching the toes back, lifting the foot off the floor. It's up to you if you feel like your foot's wobbling a little and your balance is already challenging you, then just stay here where you can keep touching down with that foot. If you feel like your balance is a little better today, you can start to hinge from the hips. Find something to focus on and concentrate. Keep the hips square. Don't let the hip open to the side. Keep breathing. Hands can stay where they are. You can go out to the side like airplane wings. Take a breath and come back up. Very nice. Take a breath in and out. The slower we can move, the more muscle we can develop. The stronger we become, the more stable and more grounded. Lifting off with the toes, just testing, seeing where you're at, knowing that both sides of the body might not be equally balanced. And doing balance poses really helps us figure out exactly where the body could use some alignment. Take a breath and return. Hi, Eddie. Eddie loves to talk. And once you get into a conversation with him, he can keep going. I love it. I've never known another cat to talk like him. All righty, what's next? Touching the toes out in the front and simply just lifting the leg up off the floor. Seeing how high you can lift that leg. Take a breath and slowly bring it back in. Switch it over, toes touch first. Standing up nice and tall and just play with that. See where you're at. Remembering that Ooh, I'm noticing a difference there. 
And we're gonna work with that. Not gonna force it. Then I would throw myself off balance. We're just gonna hang out here, right where I feel challenged, but still can be successful. Take a breath. Bring it in with control. Very good. Step it out, walk it out a little bit. Separate those feet. And let's just take a little side stretch. Take a breath and exhale over to one side. Drop the arm down, let it hang, shake it out. Take a breath and return. Inhale and exhale over to the other side. Releasing that arm and then shaking it out. Sliding back up, take a breath, and exhale the arms down. Bringing the legs back in together, we're going to move on to something a little more challenging. So we're going to start by, we'll go on just a slight angle. So we're going to start by bringing the knee up to the chest. And first let's play with tucking it in. Seeing where we're at with that. And then bringing that knee back out in front. Take the left hand to the hip. And you might just stay here, holding that knee in front or opening it to the side. Left hand can stay on the hip or you can open that arm up as well. And this gives you a real counter um, position here where the knee's opening one way and my arm is helping to counterbalance that. Take a breath, bring them in and release. Other side, bringing the knee up to the chest first. Seeing what we can do with that. Relax the shoulders, elbows in. And then bringing that knee back out in front, hand on the hip, and either holding the knee here, or taking it out to the side. Hand on the hip, we're adding it for some better balance. Take a breath and bring them back in. Very good. Walk it out. All right, we have one more. I'm going to step back with my right leg. And I'm going to move into a lunge position, bringing my hands down to the floor and then kicking up the back leg. Hands could be out to the side. They could be out in front. I could bend into this knee. The closer your chest is to your thigh, the closer you can walk your hands back towards your foot. Knee to nose if possible. Take a breath. Bring it in. Hi, Tabitha. Bend both knees, look up, inhale up. And exhale the arms down. Good. Moving to the other side. Stepping back with the left leg. Mm -hmm. Bending into the knee. Unplug your foot. And then we're kicking off. Kick off. Walk your hands out wherever you need to for better balance. And then see what you can do. Take a breath, bring it in. Bend into both knees, inhale up. And exhale. Take a breath in and out and roll those shoulders. <sighs> How's that feel? Nice and invigorating, I hope. All right, we need to do something and bend back just a little bit. So I'm gonna take the hands to the hips, separate your feet, press the hips forward.
and release. <sighs> Thank you for being here. Hope you enjoyed our balancing session. May you be rooted, may you be happy, healthy, wealthy, and wise. Namaste.